The governor commenting on the issue of New York's population loss both last night and in her inaugural address earlier this month. It's a problem, as you can tell, that's getting a lot of people, especially lawmakers, fired up. CBS 6's Jackie Slater with us tonight. And Jackie, it's a story we've been hearing now for years. That's right, Ann. We've been reporting that New York's population dropped by about 180,000 people last year. That's the biggest decline for any state in the country. But keep in mind, population takes into account birth rates, death rates, people moving. But another important number to pay attention to is just how many more people are actually moving out of New York rather than in. Right now, it's a lot more than lawmakers are comfortable with, but the debate wages on on how to fix it. This month marks one year since Nick Medora and his wife Kayla packed up their life and headed south in their RV. Fed up with New York taxes and COVID-related mandates, they set their sights on Florida's West Coast and haven't looked back. Once the pandemic hit and everything went down with, uh, with what the governor's office did, we knew that it was time to go. The sticking point for the Medores was New York's COVID vaccine requirement for healthcare workers. In RN at Samaritan Hospital, Kayla made the choice to walk away rather than get the shots. Yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit more for your house. You're gonna pay a little bit more for your homeowner's insurance, but you're not paying state income tax. You're paying a lot less property tax and you're paying a lot less for gasoline. The Medores are not alone. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, New York lost more residents to other states than any other state in the country last year. Called net migration outflow, nearly 300,000 more people moved out of New York than in. And it's a trend that has been ramping up for years. According to IRS data gathered by the Empire Center, in a 12-month period in 2019 and 2020, a little more than 200,000 people left New York. The top two destinations, New Jersey and Florida. More than 84,000 people went to the Garden State compared to just 40,007 people from New Jersey moving here to New York. And Florida saw an influx of nearly 72,000 New Yorkers compared to about 45,000 Sunshine Staters heading here. Ahead of Governor Hochul's State of the State address on Tuesday, Senator Jim Tedisco told CBS 6 he's not convinced the governor's agenda heading into 2023 will do anything to keep people here. My constituents call me every week and say, when I, once I get my pension, I'm leaving the state of New York. Once my kid graduates from college, we're leaving the state of New York. We're the highest in terms of out migration. When enough people leave the state of New York that can afford to leave and the middle class and lower income are the only ones left to pay for a $220 billion budget, U-Haul is going to continue to maybe do pretty well, maybe the best of any business here. Medor said he isn't convinced either, noting nothing at this point could lure him back. Do I miss New York? Do I miss the changes of season? Sure I do. Do I miss the Adirondacks? Absolutely. We lived in the Adirondacks in the summertime. But seeing how the rest of, the, of America lives, now nah, I'm, I'm good with staying where I'm at. New York was one of seven states to lose a seat in Congress last year because of that population drop. Now, this is a downward trend dating back decades. Back in the 1940s, New York had 45 seats in the House. Now we have 26.